Hi everybody! So today I'm gonna paint uh, BB-8 from Star Wars and this is gonna be a full process where I show my tonal underpainting right till the end. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started! By the way, my name is Hazelong and I'm an artist from Malaysia. So the first thing I do, I prime my canvas with linseed oil and then I dip it with a mixture of burnt umber and ultramarine blue and I tone my canvas. Then I use the paper towel and dip it into chocolate line to remove the paint for the highlight areas. So it's just a simple two-step process, paint the shadows and remove paint for the highlights. If you are more interested in this process, you can watch my new video which is coming out soon that I just shared the entire process on tonal value under painting. long if you haven't done so already. For the smaller highlight areas, I use the cotton bud to remove paint instead of using the paper towel. to look as round as possible. Painting is done, and now I'm using the same paint to darken the shadow areas. So, for the 
strategy of painting this BB-8 instead of painting all the mid-tones and then putting the lines last since this subject matter has a lot of lines in it I'm going to be painting the lines first instead because the lines are not of one color and they have their own tones and their own temperature shifts and I want to capture that properly and we also have to gradually follow the curve of the sphere to get progressively lighter so now I'm just outlining all the lines and following the same tonal value exactly. Well, you can see that this is a rough block in of the line. Rough, um, it's rough because it's not entirely straight or curvy or it's not perfect, it's not a perfect line because they're going to be covered in the end by the mid tones. So I'm just concerned in putting them into the correct location for now. it looks realistic and set it apart from an illustration because when it comes to illustration most of the lines are just single value and single color and same color everywhere and that's why it needs to be continuation if you have temperature shifts and tonal shifts in your lines when it comes to your illustration of your painting you can really take your painting and your art to a next level and look more realistic big in a small canvas, it is wiser to sacrifice details in return for brush strokes and tonal values. So for example, if I have this area that has a lot of details and a lot of patterns in it, there's a lot of colours in it, but it's just too small for me to render with any brush. So what I would do, I would squint my eye and try to find one tone and one colour that can represent that entire area and just use that one brush stroke represent the area. This approach works when you are trying to paint something big in a small canvas and if you want to do it the other way around then you will have to invent details instead of removing details. I'm done with the lights and I'm finally putting on the colors for the shadow areas.
part where I'm putting down the meat tones and I'm correcting the shape of the lines and getting them to be sharper, thinner and to be the correct shape. Maybe some of you are wondering why I would paint the lines first instead of the lines last. Because if it's any other regular painting, you can always paint all the other things first, the background, the meat coats and everything, and then line it up at the end of it for that you know, final touch. But um, for me, this is more of a decision that I've made because I want my brush strokes to be visible and when they are visible, you can clearly tell what has been painted first and what's been painted next and what's been painted last. And I really want my mid tones to sit on top of the lines because the lines are actually shadows, they should sit below the mid tones. So that's, this is why I'm going through all the extra effort and trouble to get my lines down first before I do the mid tones. Sometimes just shuffling steps and approaches like this in your process of making art you can already differentiate yourself from other artists when it comes to style because you can clearly tell that there's a difference in the process and these are some of the little little things that you can change in the process to define who you really are as an artist instead of trying to remake or copy other artists style
Part of this video has been edited away already because my camera battery ran out, my space ran out and some of the videos are out of focus and I just have to remove them and because of that, I'm sorry if it affects the experience of watching this video please bear with me, I'm trying to get it fixed as soon as possible watching and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I need 100 subscribers to get my own channel name and I have not had my own channel name yet so thank you so much for watching see you next time bye bye